Hi, this is Laura Cox from Shield Healthcare. I am the ostomy lifestyle expert and today I'm going to be talking about how to tell someone about your ostomy. So this is one of the scariest things for me and even though a lot of my family knows, it was hard coming up with something that I felt comfortable telling my extended family, my friends, and possible love interests. I found that the best way to tell people is by devising a script that I was comfortable with. I also try to make the script as universal as possible so I can use it for little kids, family, friends, anyone. Only you can tell when and where you feel comfortable telling someone about your ostomy, but for me, I like to do it over dinner just because it's a good segue to have so many different diet restrictions because so many questions come up. So over dinner is what works for me, but if you don't feel comfortable doing it over dinner, you can do it on a hike or while you're swimming laps with your friends. It really depends on where you feel comfortable. So first I talk about why I have an ostomy, and secondly I talk about how it came to be. I say, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease four years ago and it attacked my large intestine. So that's the why I have an ostomy. Then I talk about the how. So finally the doctors had to take out my large intestine in order to keep me alive. So that is the how. The third step is to ask them if they know what an ostomy is. If they don't, I usually just have a clear, quick explanation that kind of tells about what an ostomy is and what it entails. This is usually when I gauge whether the person is interested and wants to know more if they're kind of uncomfortable or off-put and they want me to leave it at that. So if they do want to know more, I say, do you know what an ostomy is? And if they don't, I just go into detail of what it is and what it exactly entails and how it affects my life. I've had so many great experiences with telling people about my ostomy and usually it makes us closer. I have had a couple negative reactions though and the way that I think about it is just not to take it personally. If the person that you're talking to does seem interested and asks a bunch of questions that you are not so comfortable answering, all I usually say is, I really appreciate that you're interested in all of this, I usually just don't answer that question. And then I kind of wrap it up by putting a positive spin on it by saying, I view my ostomy as saving my life. It was a hard process to go through, but afterwards I have felt so much better and it's improved my quality of life so much.